In a game of inches, every word counts. I don't know what to say, really. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 sports movie speeches. All right, gentlemen, gather around, please. Number 10, The Damned United. Better go and make yourself known. When a new coach replaces a beloved one, he's got a tough job ahead of him. Not only is he expected to win games, he's got to win over the team to do it. You lot may all be internationals and have won all the domestic honors there are to win under Don Revy. To gain respect, Brian Clough lays down the law, telling his players he's not impressed with their accomplishments because they're ill-gotten gains. First thing you can do for me is to chuck all your medals and all your caps and all your pots and all your pans into the biggest f***ing dustbin you can find because you've never won any of them fairly. Not what we'd call a motivational speech, but it gets the job done. If you want to be loved as real champions, worthy champions, you're going to have to work and improve and change. Number nine, Gridiron Gang. I know you're nervous, so am I. To ensure that the juvenile delinquents he works with don't get into more trouble, The Rock starts a football team to keep them off the streets and to teach them some self-worth. And prove to everyone out there that even though you're locked up, you're somebody. And in true inspirational sports movie fashion, he gives a speech before their first big game, telling them that with a lot of hard work and commitment, they can succeed. Are you ready to go out there and take what's yours? Yeah! What you worked hard for! Yeah! Clichéd, a little, but it works. Are you ready to accept the Mustang Challenge? Yeah! Number eight, Friday Night Lights. Well, it's real simple. You got two more quarters and that's it. Like most Texas towns, Odessa is obsessed with their high school football team. And like most sports movies, this one rises above its athletic content to cover larger themes and issues than simply winning the big game. It's not about winning. It's about you and your relationship to yourself and your family and your friends. This halftime speech by Coach Gary Gaines near the end of an up and down season lets his players in on his philosophy. Everyone should strive for perfection, not as athletes, but as people. Being perfect is about being able to look your friends in the eye and know that you didn't let them down. Number seven, The Wrestler. The only one who's gonna tell me when I'm through doing my thing is you people here. An over-the-hill wrestler with a bum ticker and nothing left to lose, Randy the Ram Robinson is in the ring for what might be his final time. You know, if you live hard, you play hard and you burn the camp with both ends, you pay the price for it. He takes the opportunity to address his fans who've stayed with him through thick and thin. Made all the more poignant by the fact that the brawl he's about to fight could kill him, this speech is both a thank you and a goodbye. You people here are the ones who are worth bringing it for because you're my family. I love all of you. Number six, Miracle. Great moments are born from great opportunity. By now, we all know the Americans were not supposed to win the men's hockey gold at the 1980 Olympics. But when they did... Do you believe in miracles? Yes! And along the way, the squad was privy to several epic speeches. However, real-life coach Herb Brooks' most inspirational pep talk made us all believe in miracles. Tonight, we are the greatest hockey team in the world. Even against the big bad Soviets in the midst of the Cold War, they can and will win this game. I'm sick and tired of hearing about what a great hockey team the Soviets have. Screw them. This is your time. Number five, Hoosiers. There's a um, tradition in tournament play, not talk about the next step until you've climbed the one in front of you. Any underdog story is bound to have an inspirational locker room moment, and this is Hoosiers. I'm sure going to the state finals is beyond your wildest dreams, so let's just keep it right there. Overcoming odds and obstacles on their way to the state championship, this ragtag team is prompted by their controversial coach to focus on the here and now. And remember what got you here. Focus on the fundamentals. 
that we've gone over time and time again. And most important, don't get caught up thinking about winning or losing this game. He also makes a point few coaches will admit. Sometimes it's not all about winning. If you put your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be, I don't care what the scoreboard says, at the end of the game, in my book, we're going to be winners. The ensuing slow clap makes this a classic sports movie moment. Number four, Invictus. Look in my eyes. Do you hear? Listen to your country. A country ravaged by racism slowly rebuilds itself with some unexpected help from a rugby team. Though you'd expect this movie's best speech to come from Morgan Freeman's Nelson Mandela, we're giving kudos to Matt Damon's Francois Pinard. In a huddle with only minutes left in the big World Cup game, he speaks just a few powerful, passionate words. But what he doesn't say may be even more important. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Defense, defense, defense. This is it. This is our destiny. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Number three, we are Marshall. For those of you who may not know, this is the final resting place for six members of the 1970 Thundering Herd. After the Marshall Thundering Herd loses 37 players, their head coach, and other crew members in a plane crash, the team is on the verge of crumbling. But Jack Lengill steps in to pick up the pieces with help from one poignant speech at the burial place of their departed friends. How you play today, from this moment on, is how you will be remembered. With a message about laying everything on the line and leaving a legacy, Coach Langill brings his horde to cheers. We are. Marshall! We are. Marshall! We are. Marshall! Funerals in today. Yeah! Number two, remember the Titans. 50,000 men died right here on this field. In a school where racism divides and football unites, Herman Boone has an important role, and all it takes is a great speech to get the job done. Listen to their souls, man. I killed my brother with malice in my heart. Hatred destroyed my family. With the Battle of Gettysburg as his backdrop, Coach Boone inspires his troops by evoking the spirits of fallen soldiers and explaining the dangers of hate. If we don't come together right now on this hollow ground, we too will be destroyed. It's a short but sweet speech that drives the point home like few others. I don't care if you like each other or not, but you will respect each other. And maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll learn to play this game like men. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Is losing fun? No. And gentlemen, I am so proud of you. And when everyone says it can't be done, ducks fly together. Everybody gets one chance to do something great. Most people never take the chance, either because they're too scared or they don't recognize it when it spits on their shoes. Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Number one, any given Sunday. Either we heal as a team, or we're going to crumble. It's universally recognized as one of, if not the, greatest sports movie speech. And who better to deliver it than Al Pacino? Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. To rally his struggling Miami Sharks, Coach Tony D'Amato emphasizes the importance of teamwork and how far athletes will go for glory. The inches we need are everywhere around us. Hell yeah. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. But like any great speech, it's relatable for all viewers as it transcends its subject matter. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the difference between winning and losing. Yeah. 
It also makes you want to score a touchdown yourself. Either we heal now as a team or we will die as individuals. Do you agree with our list? Which sports movie speeches get you ready for the big game? You can do it! For more sporty top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.